In this video, we're going to show you how to create a database diagram from a SQL script. We are in MySQL Workbench, as you see, and I'm going to select File, New Model. Done. That's all you have to do here. Now we want to add a diagram, an entity relationship diagram, and we get a template here for doing that, as you can see. And now I want to reverse engineer a script. So I want to choose File, Import, Reverse Engineer a Script. So this is actually a, a SQL script that was created by uh, doing a SQL dump, uh, an export, export of a SQL database, which will capture the tables into a .SQL file. Well, what we're doing here is we're just going to create a database diagram from that same script. Now, the one that I want is in on our desktop. I believe it's at the bottom of the desktop. It's called Vendors. I'm going to open that. I'm going to select the checkbox here to make sure that my objects are, are put on the diagram when we're finished. And I'm going to choose Execute, Next, and Finish. And that put three table diagrams on my uh, diagram here. As you can see, three table database tables. I'm going to drag them all up so that they are together. And what we want to do is we want to connect the primary keys to their associated foreign keys in the other table. Take a look at the vendors table. There's a primary key of vendor ID. Well, in the invoices, there's a foreign key of vendor ID. So we want to show that relationship. Now, that would be a one-to-many relationship. One vendor could have many invoices, right? So what we want to do is come down here and we choose this tool from our toolbar, select that, and click on the foreign key first, and then the primary key in the other table. And as, as you can see, what that does is it creates a one-to-many relationship, which is indicated by the fork here. The fork shows many, one-to-many. One vendor can have many invoices. While there's another, you can move these around as you wish, now there's uh, also a relationship between invoices and, and the line items in the invoice. Well, if you take a look at the invoice, there's an invoice ID. Well, we also have an invoice ID over here for each line item. So here it's a foreign key, over here it's the primary key. So once again, we'll choose this tool, select the foreign key first, and then the associated primary key in the other table and that will establish the connection. And as you can see, once again, one invoice can have many line items in it. So you can see the fork over here. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to save this. So we do file, save model as, and I'm going to save it uh, on my desktop, and I'm going to call it uh, vendors. I call it vendors two, and I already had one, so I'm going to overwrite that. And there it is. I'm, I've now finished the uh, diagram. This is something like what you have to do in exercise 16.1. Very, very similar. Hope this helps.